I'm here with my Dash Mini Rice Maker, and I am going to be making an Irish boiled dinner. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. If I was using corned beef, we could call this corned beef and cabbage, but I'm not using corned beef, so we are just going to call this an Irish boiled dinner. It's the same thing. You can add corned beef if you want but today I'm just going to make the vegetables. So I had a small head of cabbage and I've cut two slices out of the small head of cabbage. I have a carrot that I've peeled and cut into pieces. And then I have three of the baby red potatoes and I've peeled some of the skin off and I've left some of the skin on. I think they look pretty like that. And the first thing I am going to do is open up my rice cooker and fill it with cabbage. So. Uh, the cabbage will cook down and that's what we want before we load it up with everything else so there's the cabbage it's completely full of cabbage and now i'm going to add some water to it want to make sure the water gets down into the bottom because this is a boiled dinner. It means we're boiling our ingredients in water. All right, that's good. I'm leaving about an inch of space on top of the water. Can you see the water in there? So there's about a, an inch of space from the water to the top. I will probably be cooking some of this without the lid on, but the first thing I am going to do is plug it in. And today I'm cooking with this OK Pro. 500 watt portable power station, which I charge with solar panels. So if you're cooking in an RV or a car or a van, and if that's a concern for you also, you wanna make sure you have at least 300 watts of power. So this is going to heat up, the water is gonna to come to a boil, and it takes a while for the cabbage to cook down. And if I wanted to, I could really stack it high and put the carrots on top, and then put the potatoes on top also and what will happen is these will kind of cook with the steam as the steam rises it'll cook the carrots and the potatoes and if I try to put the lid on right now uh, it's way too high uh, the lids not going to fit so we can actually cook this without the lid and that's what we are going to do so I'll be back in a little while once the water starts boiling it's been a half hour now, and as you can see, the water is boiling nicely. It looks like the cabbage is starting to cook down a little bit. Let's, let's put the top on and see. Still hasn't cooked down enough to put the top back on, but that's okay. We can, we can cook with it open like this. I'm just going to continue to let this cook and let everything cook down. The nice thing about these dash appliances is that there's no open flame or anything. So you can kind of turn them on, set them up, get them going, and then do other things and then come back and they're still, they're still working safely. It's been a little bit more than an hour now and I put the lid on about 10 minutes ago and as you can see, it's fitting much better because the cabbage has started to cook down. And this is what's going on inside. So I'm just going to continue to cook this until everything is nice and soft. So I'm gonna check back in 20 minutes and that'll be about an hour and a half since I first plugged this in. Now we have to remember that this Dash mini rice cooker. It does take a while to get up to a boil. It usually takes about 20 minutes. So when we check this again in another 20 minutes, it will have been boiling for about an hour and 10 minutes and uh, these boiled dinners do take some time to cook. Okay, it's been another 20 minutes or so and this is still cooking really nicely. I am going to go grab a fork and see if the vegetables are soft yet. The potato is nice and soft, the carrots are nice and soft and the cabbage is soft too, so actually gonna taste that a little bit. Really good. So I am going to unplug this and I'm just gonna let it cool off for a few minutes. It's gonna continue to cook as you can see from the heat that's already uh, in this appliance. 
Uh, then I'm going to go grab a slotted spoon and uh, remove the vegetables. And that's how easy it is to make an Irish boiled dinner in a Dash mini rice cooker. Look at all this food on this plate. I can't wait to dig in. And all totaled, it took an hour and a half to make this meal from the minute that I plugged the rice cooker into the power. This is a very healthy meal also. It's basically a plate full of boiled vegetables. Also, if you made this with some corned beef, you'd also have some meat on your plate. You can make it with the meat, without the meat. You can also make this with sausages, or if you like seafood, you can make this with shrimp. Um, it comes out good many different ways. I like to put a little freshly ground pepper on this, and I also like to add some mustard. So that's how I like to eat it. I like to just grab some cabbage, dip it in a little bit of the mustard, and enjoy it. Really good. You have to be careful with your potatoes because they can overcook. They can get a little bit mushy and fall apart if you let them overcook. And I probably should have waited uh, maybe 10 or 15 minutes before putting the potatoes on top. But that's okay. They're just really soft. Uh, but they're perfectly edible. They're really good. And I'm very happy with them. And so that's how easy it is to make this meal in a Dash mini rice cooker. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.